All right, story time. Story time. We almost we almost got lined up outside of a club. I don't know how I'm going to title it. We almost got robbed outside of the club, whatever. Anyway, this happened in 2014 or 2013. Even 2013 or 2014. Um, me and my girlfriend, who's my wife now, we had just moved from Athens to Griffin because she was finishing up her master's degree. And the last year she had to do in Griffin. And I had, like, my friends and stuff like that that I went to college with that, you know what I'm saying, they lived on the south side, and Griffin is on the south side. So I, I was able to link up with them, and we started a rap group. The rap group had me as a rapper. This other dude, I forgot his name, he was a rapper. Then we had my boy Juan as a DJ. My boy Chevy made beats. My boy JD made beats. And we was just, you know, we will link up and stuff like that. We have, like, our little meetings or whatever. But... This particular day, uh, Juan was trying to get our music played. So we we had the we had the scenario where if he could DJ at a club, that'd get our foot in the door. So he actually had a a, a tryout to be a DJ at this strip club on Old National Highway. Now, I don't remember the name of the strip club. Actually, instead of doing that, let us call Chevy. Okay, let's call Chevy right quick, because Chevy would remember the name of the strip club. Yeah. My boy, hey, y'all, I'm doing a yeah. video, I'm doing a video, right? Yo, what was the name of the strip club when, uh, when Juan went to, to do the little, the audition? And them niggas, them niggas trying to line us up. Club. Niggas tried to line us up. Yeah, bro. You remember You remember when we did the, the little um shit on Old National? This was like when we had the little group. And then we was sitting, we was standing there talking, and a nigga pulled up, and then we was finna leave, then the motherfucker was like, hey, hey, you, you, you wanna come back there and ref this dice game? Oh, that was um what was that called? Eye candy. It was called eye candy. It's called eye candy. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, you, you, I, I thought I was tripping just now. This nigga said, what? Nigga trying to line this yeah, up. Yeah, I was about to say, nigga, line us up. Nigga, who the fuck's trying to... Yeah, but no, nah, it was eye candy, though. All right, all right, I'll meet you back. All right, say no more. All right, yeah. All right, so, yeah, so Juan had this audition at, at uh, the strip club called Eye Candy. Mind you, bro, this shit was mad hood. That shit was hood as fuck, bro. Talking about to you know a, a club hood when like the dances is just the dances was not up to par. Like I've been to strip clubs and them dances was not up to par, bro. So we was there and this chick came in for our audition to be a dancer also, and Shorty looked like she either just gave birth like two days ago, or she just she about three months pregnant, bro. Cause. <laughs> You know how they say certain it, some certain strip clubs look like the strippers got bullet holes in their in their in their ass and shit, bro. She looked like she might have had a bullet hole in her ass, bro. It's like she looked like she probably done got shot before or whatever. Anyway, we sitting there trying to keep a straight face because the the uh, her audition was horrible. But while she's auditioning, Juan is like playing the music too, so he was the DJ and he going in and shit. But like, you know, the the motherfucker on stage. She she wasn't making it no better. You feel me? But I would say the other strippers that was there, they was like feeling feeling the vibes or whatever. All right, so boom, the audition went pretty pretty solid. I'll say it went solid because we know what he can do or whatever. And it's time for us to leave. So we leave. It's it got dark outside or whatever. We leaving or whatever. And we standing outside and we start talking. So we start you know we start planning. All right, so, you know, if we, if you get this job, we'll be able to put our music through here. You feel me? And that'll be a start. Um, Yo, when we meeting up to, to, to link up, when we linking up again, because we, even though they lived in McDonough and I think Chevy might have lived in Riverdale or something like that, I lived in Griffin. Everybody lived different places. 
So we all had to kind of come together to decide like, when we linking up again, you know what I'm saying? What's our next move? When we going to the studio? So we standing outside of this club, bro. And that's what we talking about. But while we talking, people is coming in. And I'm looking at, you know, bro, I'm from New York, folks. So I'm looking at the people coming in. And I'm like, yo, time out. Think about it. If the strippers look the way they look, just think about the niggas that's coming in there. You feel me? Think about the dudes that's actually like that that <laughs> that come to this type of establishment. Now, no knock on the establishment, but all right. I seen a I seen motherfuckers pulling they um they little grill back then and shit. But every every person that walked past is just looking like, yo, we ain't never seen these niggas before. What's this? Okay. So mad people keep on coming past or whatever. Then fight lane cars started coming through or whatever. Now the one thing I forgot to explain is the way the club is and the parking situation is one way in, one way out. So you come in and then you can make that right turn and then that's it. That right turn after that is a dead end. So that's where everybody was going, like to the to the back, to that dead end. Right? So Eventually, this car pulls up. Never forget it. It's like a, a gold... No, it was a silver Toyota Camry. It was like a 2007. That sound like a snitch. That sound like a snitch, bro. You, you got, I got memory like a snitch. Damn. But anyway, man. <laughs> it, was a, it was a silver 2007 Camry, bro. Surprised I don't even know the license plate. That's fucked up. But yeah, anyway. The dude pull in, right? And then he like... He grilled everybody. I'm talking about it was me, Juan, Chevy, JD, uh, the other dude that rap, and um, I think the other guy named, he's supposed to be a DJ too. I think his name was Mike or something. I'm not sure what his, his name was either. But so it was seven of us, bro. This man pulls up. Puts the car in park. Gets out. Goes to the back seat, pulls his strap, looks at us, and put it in his waist. Then drive off. So niggas is looking like, hey, yo, what? Yo, what the fuck? What was that? Like, what, what was that? You feel me? Like, the one thing I could say, everybody is tough, but I hate, like, extra niggas, bro. You feel Like, I hate extra niggas, like... That shit was not called for. So obviously, he was on. He probably was on something. Niggas was probably rolling at the time. Like you know, niggas be rolling. They be on ecstasy and and all types of perks and shit. So he he was ready for war. So anyway, I start talking. Well, Chevy was like, "Yo, yo, listen, man, this shit ain't even. Let's go, bro." So I'm I'm with Chevy. I'm like, "Yo, yeah, let's let's get the fuck up out of here." I, I was already like, yo, let's get up out of here. Because once I seen the people walking in, I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. So we all get in our separate cars. I think me, I get in the car with Chevy and the dude that rap, And then uh, everybody else got in Juan's car. And I think Juan was the only one that had a strap. Because at the time, I, I didn't have a strap at the time. So Juan was the only one that was strapped. Bro, right when we was finna pull off, bro, the dude that had the um what you call it? The uh the grill? It was some dark skin nigga with dress. Pull comes up to the window. Yo, what's going on, fellas? We like, shit, we chillin', what's up? We like, hey man, you know we we celebrating back there or whatever. You know, we about to start shooting dice and shit like that. You know, y'all trying to slide, y'all trying to slide through if y'all trying to come through and so niggas like, nah, we good. So the nigga look at me like, hey, hey, big bro, you know, you look like you got some understanding, man. It ain't, it ain't nothing like that, you know. We just trying to, trying to extend the hospitality, da da da. I'm like, nah, bro, we good. You sure, man? We, we need somebody to rough the dice game now, y'all. You know, we just need a neutral party to rough the dice game. He like, nah, bro, we good, man. We, we straight. He like, alright, 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 no problem, no problem. And then he left. 
nigga. We we drive, we drive, we got up out of there. We driving and we talking about that shit. Like, yo, bro, what? You need somebody to ref the dice game. What is that? Is it a boxing match? I've never heard anybody say, yo, we need somebody to ref this dice game, son. What they saw was some young some young niggas that looked like they might be they I guess we look like we have money, nigga. They ain't no money. Like we broke. <laughs> we 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 dressed up though, cause you know, we thought we was coming to a solid business establishment to to have a, a um to have an audition. I mean, personally though, let me not let me not say that because I feel as though I'm not finna knock nobody business. Like we're not finna do that. It was just like that whole situation was kind of like it's kind of different. It's kind of different. Like I, I've been through some shit before, but that whole that whole encounter with them folks was weird as hell. Like down from the strippers that was in there to like the 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 people that started pulling in the um like I've never been to a club where like niggas is allowed to just go in the back and just cook like barbecue their own shit. Like <laughs> it was just weird to me, son. And then homie that pulled up, that grilled us, then got out the car, then went and got his gun, then like you feel me? And the crazy thing is I'm thinking about it now. It's certain people that I knew that if they were with us they would have shot them. Like some of the dudes I, I hang out with now is like, yo, they would have shot them. You feel me? They would have shot them, bro. Some of the niggas from back home from New York, as soon as he did that, as soon as they seen the gun, they would have shot him. And I don't, I don't even know if it would have been counted as self defense, but it was just like the nigga was so extra. There was no need for that. There was no need to, like, he just wanted to flex his muscle. You feel me? He just wanted to flex his muscle, son. So yeah, man, that was my that was my um that was one situation that that I'll never I'll never forget. I mean, I've got other situations where I've actually got shot at, but like that one in particular, it's just the way they approached us. Yeah, 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 big bro, we just, we just need somebody to come ref this dice game, man. You know, it ain't it ain't, it ain't no thing, you know. So, yeah, all right. All right. Anyway, that's the story. Holla at y'all. Squat.